Hey guys, so currently in my car I have a VFO A139 dash cam which is a three camera setup. There's a rear camera and I'm going to use it as a um, uh, rear view camera in my car. So over here I have this three and a half millimeter jack uh, a cable with four uh, pins. And this is an extension which I've used to connect to the dashcam to check uh, which pins are used for the video out feed because the VFO A139 has a video out um, output, 3.5 millimeter jack video output. So it turns out that the uh, last ring, the fourth one, is the ground connection as expected and the uh, third ring is the video uh, signal, which over here goes on the red cable, I believe. The colors are, are a little bit misleading. So I've got those uh, um, four pin, four pin uh, jack connectors over here. And I've, I've took a standard um, RCA uh, change cable, which is about uh, two meters long. I've cut the uh, connector from it and I've soldered the remaining cable to the to the connector to the jack connector so right now I have a uh, I have a cable which on one end has this um, RCA connector and on the other side there's this three and a half millimeter jack so right now I'm going to check with a multimeter if the connections are okay and then we are going to um, connect it to my Golf Mark 7 coded and use the um, uh, dash cam feed as a rear view camera uh, input for my infotainment system. Okay, looks like it's correct. Now let's connect it to the car. At this point, I needed those uh, um, uh, infotainment removal tools just to release the infotainment unit from its uh, original position. And right now I have access to all the connectors. Also, I've used a trim removal tool just to remove this side cover of the dashboard to have a better access to um, guide this cable. Right now the cable is not hidden, it's just hanging over here and it's already connected to the uh, VFO mine unit. So there's an AV output over here. I've connected the cable and the other side of the cable is over here connected to the, um, uh, to the rear view camera input of the infotainment unit. And over here I have also a small adapter because uh, originally this infotainment unit does not, can, it does not come with the RCA input, but there's a small adapter which you can get on AliExpress. Of course, I will link it all on uh, in the description below uh, this video. So right now, with all this mess, I can check if it actually works. And of course, I need to code it in the infotainment unit so it knows that there's a there's a camera feed uh, connected and it should display it on the on the screen when the car is in reverse and i should check also settings of the vfo cam so it needs to be set to uh, a specific video standard i believe it's ntsc and uh, also i need to set the feed to the uh, rear uh, camera because this is a three camera setup and by default it should uh, cast a feed from all three cameras over here which I don't need I only need the rear one okay so let's get OBD 11 is over there I'm going to connect it to OBD 2 port to activate the and uh, to activate the rear view camera feed in the infotainment unit so when connected to car, go to list of modules, scroll down to module 5F, which is the infotainment main unit. And over here we are going to enter long coding. And in long coding we are looking for, we are looking for camera inputs. So let's check camera first. Review camera low, not installed, select installed, write new coding, successful disconnect and that's pretty much it and right now we can check if it works so now let's put it to reverse and we have the video feed from the from all the cameras so right now I need to change the 
um, uh, settings of the dashcam to have only the rear view over here. So right now let's put it to reverse and let's uh, use this button to switch camera. This is front view, this is interior and this is back. Okay, I believe that's it. Okay, so in the description below this video you will find all details uh, that uh, you need. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.